this is what you'll need. You'll need three four foot steel welding rods, an SO239 connector, and some solder, and some basic know how, and some other tools. Let's get started. Now cut the rod to 19 and 5 16 inch. This is for the vertical element. Now because the uh, rod doesn't fit in the SO239, we're going to need to grind the rod down a bit. There we go, I got the, the uh, steel rod all nice and tinned, and now we are going to solder. Now for the radials, you're going to want to measure out a length of 20 and 3 sixteenths. So this is what you should end up with. You should end up with four of the radials. The, it's the 20 and 3 sixteenths inch radials for the ground plane. And then you've got the main feeder, which is uh, 19 and 5 sixteenths. And so this is what you'll end up with. And now the next step we're going to do is we're going to bend the radials at the end and bolt it to the available screw holes on the uh, connector itself. So this is what you should end up with. In this case, I use self-tapping screws because my bolts were too large for the holes. For the next step, we're going to seal this. We don't want any oxidization messing up our contacts. So now we will check the standing wave ratio. Now, this is done using a uh, cross needle SWR meter, and the goal is to get as close to one to one as possible. Now we are going to set the transmission power to 10 watts and let's just pulse this for a sec. Hmm. It actually works. Well, it looks like we're really close to one-to-one -to -one SWR, unless that other needle's broken, but the reflected is, um, it's not reflecting anything, so it's fully exerting the power through the antenna. As you can see, it's uh, picking up uh, packet radio just fine. Yeah, one's kind of distorted, but there we go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you then. Bye.